Before we get started with today's interview, just a quick reminder, click the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so that you don't miss any of the great interviews that we have coming up. Now on to today's interview. Welcome back, everybody. Today, my guest is composer Suzanne Dawson. Her piece on the new National Federation of Music Clubs list is Flea Fiesta. You can find it in her book, Buggity Buglets. Welcome, Suzanne. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. So this piece is really a ton of fun. It has this 3-4 waltz feel. It has some great staccatos in it, so the students get to explore those staccato touches at the piano. Talk to us a little bit about writing Flea Fiesta. I wanted to do something kind of bouncy, because I know they like bouncy things. And I knew I had to keep it within a, a position that they didn't have to move out of. I don't think any of the pieces in this, this first book, they move in a position. Unless they cross over one note. But yeah, I was just, I don't know. It's an, another one, and, and honestly, with about every one of them, I just started with something that came, fell out of my head onto the keys. And I can't, you know, as a composer, what? how do you describe this? <laughs> it's just like floats around somewhere and out it comes. I don't know how to describe it. When you work with your students, how do you help them to develop that staccato touch at the keyboard? Oh, that's a real good question. Um, well, I just call it bouncing. And so it doesn't take them very long, but they usually, I just say bounce it like a golf ball on the pavement. You know, just make that snappy sound and have a little fun with it. And so it's tricky, you know, um, when they've got a, a legato marking, a two-note slur, and the and then the note after that is staccato. It's really hard for them to grasp that at first. So I just have to break things down. Just one, one little motion at a time, like one note to the next note. This is what, how you get there. So this piece is in 3-4. It has this really pleasant waltz feel to it. But I know as a piano instructor that a lot of times I hear pieces that are in 3-4 actually performed with an extra beat at the end of every measure. How, what are some tricks that you use to help students kind of understand three, four time? Well, I think that's interesting that you just said about the extra beat that goes into a measure. That is a thing I've heard many, many times, especially if it's like a, a quarter note followed by a half note, or they just play three quarter notes and then wait. So I, I kind of think it's a visual thing that they're looking at bar line. I have to play this measure and stop. Like we'll end up working the last note to this one in a row. And then we back up with the beat and we continue until we get to the next point where they're hesitating. What a unique way to do that, helping the student to work across the bar line. Yes. That is a really helpful trick. Were there some other challenges that you faced as you comp as you composed Flea Fiesta? You know, I had never written duets for little kids before. So that was an interesting challenge is, oh, I have to be careful not to collide or is, is it going to clash with the upper part? And I mean, I've written for multiple instruments before, but this was different. You just have to plan the fingering out when you're playing with, when the student's playing with you. So, you know, if you accidentally touch or you have to touch their little finger with your little finger, that's awkward. So those are the kinds of things I had never thought about before. Excellent. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about Flea Fiesta? I, I don't know if you read that I did all the artwork in the first book. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that little flea thing that was a hard one. That What a talent that you not only composed these works, but also created the artwork that went along with them. That's amazing. That is just awesome. No, I was just going to say, I loved doing that. It took, uh, with Adobe Illustrator, it took like a couple hundred hours to do all of these graphics. Because I, I had to come up with the design and then redo it and then make sure, you know, I had to look at bugs on the internet to get what they look like. Um, and make sure I wasn't copying anything. So that took a long time. And Dennis encouraged me to not do that. So I did not do that for the second book. Wow. That is just amazing, the amount of time that you put in. Holy cow. 
Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. My guest has been composer Suzanne Dawson. Her piece on the new National Federation of Music Club's piano solo list is Flea Fiesta. You can find it in her book, Buggity Buglets, from fine quality music retailers near you. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you.